Uh, oh, okay, hey, we're on. This is Chaplin Chat. We're, I'm at McDonald's in Dinuba. Dinuba, sunny and, Dinuba. Sunny, and I am with uh, Pastor Bill at, in Dinuba. We're having a great time. Bill, we've Always known each other do. for how long? Oh, years now. Oh, it's got to be uh, eight, nine years. Oh, well, oh, about eight, because I haven't been here. But, eight but, years. But Pastor Bill. Evangelistic. Pastor Bill, you yeah. are, your, your church is what's your church in? Uh, New Beginnings Christian Center. Yeah. Um, it's at 826 South First Avenue, uh, right behind the high school. Um, yeah, and uh, we're a blessed little church. Yeah. And, and and Bill, you do so many ministries in Dinuba. You're well known here, man. This McDonald's is probably one of your hangouts. <laughs> From time to time. But yes. what, there's one, I mean, you got a lot, what's, if you could just share one passion right now, what is something you're involved in right now in um, Dinuba? The, the, the real passion, obviously being a pastor, but the passion is uh, mentoring men. Wow. Mentoring young men, wow. older men, uh, through uh, the Dornings Pregnancy Resource Center, uh, which is my wife is the founder and director. And there. I'm going to get her on yeah, the chaplain yeah, chat too. It's, 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 it'll be worth it. But uh, we have a program there called the Quest for Authentic Manhood. Whoa! Quest for Authentic the Quest Manhood. For, and you know, it, it's really kind of interesting. You know, um, I love what the Apostle Paul says in 1 Corinthians 13, 11. You know, he talks about, you know, when I was a child, I thought like a child, I acted like a child, blah, blah, blah. But he says, but when I became a man, and I, I feel that that's what's missing in our culture. Um, well, when do we become men? And at what point do we put away the childish things and, and, wow. and, and become men? Wow. And, uh, well, and then what does that look like? What does it look like? I, I, one of the challenges I, I do with the uh, men that I meet, I ask, them, uh, I ask them a very simple question. I says, well, in your opinion, uh, or in your interpretation, what is a man? And it's funny to see the looks that I get and the responses that I get. Uh, a lot of it is stuttering. I don't know if you Which remember. Which I'd be doing, I'd be stuttering uh, you know, right now too. Remember the old Ralph Cramden? Yeah, 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 yeah. Humming, 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 And that's what I get from the young men. And they, then they try to come up with an answer. Wow. But the bottom line is they can't define it. There's no clearly defined, well, this is what a man is. Wow. And so what we find is that, uh, like most of us, uh, the things that we learn about manhood, we learn from our friends. Wow. Because uh, one in three of, of the kids that we minister to in the community, they're fatherless or wow. absent fathers, and so uh, there's no male mentoring going on, um, and they really don't know what they're supposed to be doing. So we, through this program, it is uh, it is a faith-based program, and uh, we show them the biblical model for manhood based on Genesis, and throughout the Bible, uh, wow. it's all about family, and, and Jesus models wow. family. Wow. Wow. Um, wow. When you look at Jesus, uh, he came through the womb wow. as a child, and he was born to a mother and a father. Yeah. And they worked and raised him. They, they put all of their time, all their effort into him to make sure that he was going to fulfill his destiny and calling in his life. Wow. So it's a great model for us. And we use that as an example to help these young men to understand if they're going to take on the responsibility of fathering a child, then they got to learn how to be a father. Bill, if Pete, this is great. If, if folks are interested in Dinuba being part of that, who do they call? They call the, uh, the Dawning Center. The number there is 559-595-9323. Give it one more time. 559-595-9323. And uh, it, it's one-on-one uh, -on -one counseling, peer counseling. Um, it's DVD driven. It's very interesting. It's uh, basically the instructor is Dr. Robert Lewis. This has been in, in the process of being molded for over 15 years and it's been proven so effective and yeah. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, you know, I'll put that when I post this, the number and who you are. And this is exciting. Now here's the big sign off. The um, big sign. Chaplain chat, okay. I'm gonna say, this is so cool. Well, it's cool for me, it's my dorkiness. Yeah. I'm gonna say thank you folks. And I'm gonna say thank you for being on and you get to say chaplain chat. Are you ready for this? Yes, okay. All right, here we go. Hey, I wanna thank you folks. And I wanna thank you, Bill for a lot of reasons. But right now, for being on Chaplain Chat. Whoa! <laughs> and I gotta turn this off, and I will.